Good evening, users. So, uh, tonight I'm doing something a little different than my usual. Uh, for for once, I for once I thought it'd be like need to do a tabletop RPG on here, and uh, I I just I just like drafted some friends in, into doing this with me, so now it's a collab stream. <laughs> uh. All right, so t so tonight we're playing a game called Wander Home. Uh, that was made by J Dragon, published by Possum Creek Games, and it and it's based and it's based on a system known known as Belonging Outside Belonging, also known as No Dice No Masters, to give you an idea. So, right, so so basically, so basically, they're like no dice rolls or anything. It's basically just a story. It's basically just a story game. Uh. Like the the rules give you the rules give you an option to have someone be a guide like a like a GM style role if if you want and since we're all new to the game that's uh, what we decided to do right right so doing that will be uh, Feltemp. Hello there. All right and and with me playing I've got Rabbit Dumpling. Hello. Felky Sorcha. Hi there. And giant robots. Hello. Hello, and well, at this point, I'll hand it over to you. Sure. So yeah, this is a the most story game thing ever tried to run, even more than Golden Sky Stories. Uh, and it's a game where we're basically all just telling each other about a journey. Our players are animals uh, wandering through the land of half. Uh, I am the guide, which means that uh, I'm presenting the starting scenario and will probably be playing most of the NPCs. But this is a sort of game where if uh, anyone else at this virtual table ever wants to, they can just take over an NPC, take over a whole scene, say, hey, I want to run this the rest of the night. Sure, I'm 100% cool with that. <laughs> and um, let's introduce um, our animals here. Uh, does anyone want to start? Um, you know what? Since, you know... since I'm on the far left, I I'm okay starting. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, tonight I am playing Fennel, a moth tender. Uh, moths are like carrier moths that travel across Hearth, and they bring like letters and news, uh, and packages, and uh, Fennel takes care of them. Hmm. Do you want to ask your questions now, or should we wait till after everyone introduces themselves? Uh, probably after everyone introduces themselves. Should I read off my descriptive, my descriptive parts? Yeah, as much as you want to. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so she is a persistent animal, uh, a fox. Um, two things that her job asks her to be, and two things that she actually are, actually is, uh, is she is calm, proper, studious, and very cheerful. Um, when you see her, she, uh, often wears small reading glasses, always has a satchel full of papers, uh, has a mottled bark colored cloak, and, uh, a map of the local moth towers. Um, and I will leave it at that, because the rest of that's kind of neat and secret. <laughs> sure. Who wants to go next? Uh, I was I was gonna say, do we want to go left to right? So, uh, Sorcha, that will be you next, if you want. Uh, if you're talking, you're muted. All right, well, maybe, well, maybe she had to step away for a minute or something, so I can, so I can go in the meantime. So, hi, I'm Penny. I'm a girl, and I'm a, and I'm heckin' adorable. Also, I refuse to be quiet or scared. 
All right, Aridim, when you look at me, you can recognize me by the, by the flowers I've, I've got forever in my hand. This tongue dress that whooshes when I spin in my overwhelming love for life. <laughs> nice. Um, so, uh, I am Nide, the Firelight, and, uh, um, it's easy to get lost in the dark on the road here, so I'm a bit of a wanderer who's at your, who's at people's side to guide their way. I'm a raccoon. And I try to be constant, consistently correct and here for everyone. But two things that I know I can't be are strong and manly or enough. I would um, wear a uh, mud-soaked cloak uh, and have my uh, lantern on my reliable wooden staff. I also have underneath this cloak a badly ripped dress, but I do carry a well-loved fiddle because I find a little music in the cold night sometimes helps. Mm. Hmm. And also, you might notice my firefly floating above me. Well, I had a dream where I was just looking up at the moon one night and suddenly coming down from the sky was, the, was this firefly. And then I woke up and the firefly was here. And they have a tendency to point me in the right direction, although I'm not really sure they're a firefly, and they won't tell me their name and keep giving me a different one each day. So what is it today? Oh, whispers. Okay. Can I pet them? Sure. Go ahead. Well, since uh, we're at least temporarily down two for due to uh, connection problems, I'm going to say you just started wandering out of the last town and two of your friends disappeared. What do you do? <laughs> oh, start looking around. That's that's not good. Road. Start moving my lantern carefully through the dark, trying to see what I can spot see if I can see any clue of where they might have gone. Yeah, me and meanwhile, I'm just calling out like, Fennelmello, where are you? I want to pet you! Also, I want you to pet me! So yeah, I'll say you don't hear a response back. Um, you do see, you see some tracks that look like they're going a little bit like uh, off to the left of the road, um, kind of towards the woods, but they kind of stop soon after that. Hmm. As Penny starts to move towards them, I pull out um, the, my staff and, and say, watch your step. Okay. Looking down at the tracks. And I'll say it's a good thing, uh, good thing you brought your lantern over because you see something dangerous. And I'll let you tell me what it is. Hmm. This is a kind of beetle that normally just sits there quietly. Doesn't real it doesn't want uh, to interact with people, but if you get if you accidentally kick it or hit it, it will poke you very hard with its horn. It doesn't like being being poked. Yeah, well, uh, I, I'm not scared. 
I'm not scared of it. I, 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 I want to reach out and pet it. Look, I have a one-track mind, okay? All right. <laughs> <I'll let> you... <laughs> so here's the thing, Ladalia. You get to decide how that goes. Was this a good idea? <laughs> Did Penny make the right choice? Or is Penny being a very stupid child? It's all up to you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, she instinctively reach, reaches out and touches it before Nida can stop her and sh stop her and it, like hits her and she's like, "Ow, my, my paw!" It's like mm. it's like I'll be okay, but ow. My firefly uh, buzzes over and lands in and lands on your paw and starts like, you know, using its uh, front legs to rub the sore spot. I hold out the. I I, I look down at the beetle uh, for a second and and his eyes are now open. And, um, and I look at it and, I'm, and I say, do you need a hand? The beetle kind of shrugs and refuses and wanders back off into the brush. Aww. Yeah, and did you see it? As you see it do that, it, it waters up the brush. It's kind of, you can see a little bit clearing beyond that. You see it See it start walking there, and then suddenly it's not there. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I, wonder, I wonder what's down that way. Hold out a light to see if I can see any, a, a, anything, but I'm guessing that I don't. Well, if you hadn't looked at there before, you'd just be see, okay, there's just an open clearing. But you were also looking at it a minute ago, and you know, it's like, well, that bush wasn't there before. That tree looks a bit different. Hmm. Pick up a rock and kind of skip it into the, uh, uh, towards the, uh, uh, along the ground towards the tree. I hear it like a little noise that hits the ground, hits the ground again, and you should hear what it hits the tree, but you don't. And in fact, you can't see where it went. Do you think I went in there? I might have. I look at my I look at my firefly, and I'm a little unsure about all of this, and just sort of reach out and pet its head. Look to it for a second, and it uh, buzzes its wings at me. I fed it too! I mean, I know I just did a minute ago, but you know, one track mind at all! Well. Hmm. So, did that. Buzzing seem to communicate anything to you, or is it just mysterious? Seems to be uh, a little mysterious, but it's a friendly buzzing, at least. It... Firefly whispers doesn't seem concerned, and the few times whispers has ever seemed concerned have always been times when I've needed to be careful about things. But this is seems to just be something different. I want to see! I want to see! Mm. I look at the road. Look at the path. Look at the clearing, and decide to stick my staff into the. Uh, it, it, into the dirt by the road so that the lantern on it uh, we can see it to come to make our way back sure it sticks in just fine and then I and then I 
uh, look at Whispers and say, well, okay then, you're lighting the way. And Whispers floats out in front of us, uh, uh, glowing uh, just enough so that we can see which way to go. And we step in, and we, and I at least start walking into the clearing, keeping a careful eye on the ground to make sure that nothing seems dangerous. And I'm right behind There's you. There's no sharp rock or anything like that. I'm right behind you. I want to see what's in here. All right. So you go walking in there. You don't see anything dangerous immediately. It's like the it's a brush. There's a clearing. Um, then the plants seem to get a bit thicker, and it's feeling kind of warm and kind of humid. And mm. you look around. This looks like a rainforest. I touch one of the leaves of the uh, rainforest uh, 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 plants and have a drop of water flow down uh, and I, wait, wait, that I catch in my paws and uh, drink. All right. I think I'll have to give you a token for that, for describing this place. <laughs> Okay, okay, Something. okay, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you're doing that, but I'm just like facing up towards the sun and like opening my mouth and letting the rain fall in that way. <laughs> Doesn't taste bad. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe like a bug flies into my mouth and this, <laughs> while I'm doing that and I'm just like, ah, oh, and spit it out. <laughs> I like that. I'll give you a token for it. <laughs> so yeah, you spell this like big colorful dragonfly. Like big enough for your surprise that thought it could fit into your mouth. <laughs> it's like Oh my gosh, you're so pretty! What were you doing to my mouth? And it starts kind of like orbiting you, kind of just looking at you. <laughs> and, th and then I and then I like reach out to pet it, but because but, be, be, but because it's orbiting me, I can't I can't actually I can't actually like reach it to pet it because it keeps moving out of my way, and I'm and I just keep on like doing that doing this for like a couple minutes straight. Yeah, she seems to be curious about you, but is a little wary to act, directly interact with you like that. <laughs> I kind of nod at whispers to see uh, if they'll fly over and interact with, uh, with the dragonfly in any way. Yeah, I'll say the two of them just kind of fly around each other a bit. They kind of kind of fly up, so like spinning around each other, almost like a double helix kind of thing hmm. for a little bit. And um, after that, uh, your firefly returns, and the dragonfly lands in Penny's head. Aww. I just reach out and give, it, re and, and give it just like the tiniest little pat pat to make sure I don't hurt it at all. Yeah, it at least seems to tolerate that. <laughs> Yay, I made a new friend! <laughs> it seems you have. And you'll make many more soon, says a voice from somewhere else. Uh, you look around and you see a flying fish who flits back and forth through the wide leaves, unable to stay still. You can tell that it's a god. And she shushes you when you open your mouth. Questions later, stories first. The tribe is dying to hear about your roads and, uh, what's the word again, towns? All those things you force into lines. I told them how cutthroat it is out there, but they're still curious. And she points a fin upwards. And you see 
home was woven into the trees. Ooh. My into the branches or into like the leaves or is it something that I just can't even process? It's more like there's like a complex series of like tree houses. Oh. Or kind of built in there, and uh, there's what looks like a jag, a couple few jaguars staring down at you, and some more are coming and looking over the edge, and then someone calls out for some calls out about you, but hey, hey, strangers, and then more people come looking over the edge. Hi there! I just... Look, look, I'm a, look, 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 Penny's like a little kid, little kid who gets into a lot of trouble. I'm pretty sure she has no actual survival instinct whatsoever. <laughs> Hi! You're not from around here, are you? Nope! Awesome! Well, where, where exactly is here? The village. It's gonna point around, like, yeah, right here at the village. You know what? That tracks. Hey, would, would you like some food? We got food and drink up here. We're, we're just playing some games and stuff. Do you want to come up? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Sounds, sounds that, fun. That sounds I'll lovely. I, I, I look at I, I look at whispers and whispers seems like totally fine with this. All right. Two of them high five and they uh, lower down a rope ladder. Yep, yep. I, 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 I just, I just, I just start climbing, climbing right up before I, before I even like see what my companion does or is thinking or any of that. I go ahead and I start climbing, uh, also like keeping an eye on Penny specifically to make sure that she doesn't fall or lose her grip on the rope ladder. Okay. Kind of, kind of doing that, like, you know, the parent behind, like, you know, a toddler thing of like, no, 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 it's, it's okay. Yeah, you you run and you play. I'm just making sure here. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you climb the rope ladder and uh, you're helped up at the very end by a middle-aged male jaguar. It's like, oh, nice to meet you. My name's Oppo. Hi, I'm Penny. Uh, Nide, it's a pleasure. Yeah, so nice to meet you both. It gives you a big handshake, uh, like, shaking you way too much with a too firmer grip, but he's very excited. <laughs> yeah, no, this, is my, this is my daughter, Hadassah. He points to a 20-ish uh, year old uh, female jaguar, who's a little bit shyer, but does seem excited to see you. I, I, I uh, like, you know, tip my hat and, you know, sort of like uh, do a bit of a bow. Oh, is that, that how you do it where you're, where you're from? Uh, she imitates you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, either, either that or we just go up to the other person and hug them, but you you don't seem she like hugs you immediately. <laughs> she hugs you immediately hearing that's what she's supposed to do. Yay! Uh, was that right? Yep, yep. Seemed quite right to me. Good. God, I'm glad I did it right. It's I mean, so many things I want to, I want to ask you about about the, the stories, and um, there's so much. And Apo says, there was plenty of time for that. We were just, we were just getting our food and drink out. This is a party. You came up in the middle of a festival. Heck yeah! Oh. Like big smile on my face at that one like like you know uh you know uh light like kind of catches my eye for like the first time the whole the uh this the, the, this whole experience and does anyone want to describe um what you see for festival stuff out or do you want me to do it i've got some of it i would say that like there's streamers of various colors made of uh, flower petals that are like, you know, with a string, you know, taken through each one. And that's how they make like, you know, large ornate um, uh, party streamers traveling uh, down 
through the uh, path, uh, th uh, through the trees. Um, I'll also say that uh, there's, uh, you know, of course, a, a large table filled with a number of uh, foods, most of which we can tell are like, oh, that's, you know, uh, you know, some kind of like uh, di um, uh, bug milk or that's, you know, a kind of fruit that's uh, a, a big fruit that's like been like, uh, you know, carved up into pieces. But we don't recognize the specifics of anything. We can tell that like, oh, you know, that's a very lovely, you know, yellow fruit. But, you know, I have no context for any of them. <laughs> Me neither! Me neither, but they sure look yummy! Uh, yeah, they, 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 oh, go ahead. I'll, I'll also say that um, there's... Um, uh, uh, sticks that have um, uh, just a little bit of like burning embers on them, creating a bit of smoke, and those are like being brought out uh, carefully by uh, certain uh, jaguars and other animals if there are the, any other animals here bringing them and then like being stuck in the ground uh, to provide uh, maybe illumination later but for right now they just seem decorative hmm Yep, and you're all invited to sit down and eat. They kind of they actually put, give you some clearly some, some nice chairs. They have to kind of rearrange how they're going to sit. And um, well, thanks. oh, thanks. <laughs> hey, no problem. We don't get guests around here very often. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see the fish. You see the fish kind of swim by in the air. It's like, yes, I've been making sure of that. And she flies off further. And um, I'll say, Penny, um, there's some cool extinct bug or perhaps an extinct animal that she's into, like she's read about in some book somewhere. Uh, what is it? Um... And I could describe something instead if you can't <laughs> think of something. No, no, no. It's like... Um... So, 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 it's, so it's like some sort of lizard, like, like some sort of upright walking lizard. So, like, think like the, so like think the giant, the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park, ex except, ex except they're like, they're they're like maybe waist, they're like maybe waist high, and they're cute and can't talk. And I'm just like, oh. Yeah, as you sit down, you look over, you see someone throwing scraps of food to one over there who just eats it off the floor. <laughs> oh, no, I I just like go I just like go over and pet it. Yeah, it seems very friendly. It rubs its head like all over, like has that headbutt rubbing you with its head thing that cats do sometimes. Aww. I do it back. <laughs> you get a laugh from a couple of the jaguar nearby. <laughs> Oh, uh, you like the little biteys? Um, Hadassah says, or asks you. Yeah, they're super cute! Yeah, they are. That's why we, we breed a bunch of them here. It's They make great pets. Aww. Yeah, I can show you after dinner if you want, but we should eat for now. Alright, sounds good! And, and then I just and then I just start stuffing the like mystery mystery yellow fruit in my mouth, and uh, it's surprisingly sweet. Yeah, someone hands you a strange dipping sauce. Like here, that's for this. Okay. 
yes, yeah, so I, uh, yeah, so I like finish that piece of fruit and just like grab another piece of fruit to dip it in, and it's like, it's like, mmm, that's good. And 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 it's and it, and it, and it, and it like adds like kind of a tangy flavor, but the two go together really well. So Hadassa looks at you both and says, "You you must have a lot of stories from out there. We don't. We have our stories, some very old ones, but we haven't heard a new one in a long time. T tell tell me something." Tell me a story from the outside. Yeah, that's aimed. You kind of say it to both of you. Hmm. Hmm. To stall for time for a moment, I take. Um, and, and again, that's Nide in character, like mm -hmm. trying to figure out what story to tell. Breaks off a piece of the yellow fruit and dips it in the sauce and. Takes a and, and, and takes a slow bite and savors the flavors mixing. Pretty good, isn't it? It is. Reach it into um. Uh, my uh, uh, in, in, into my coat and uh, take out uh, uh, a um, uh, a small uh, what like smoke uh, cigarette that's the word I'm looking for mm. and put it to my lips but I don't light it I just sit there for a moment take it back out and look at it again and say, you know, I haven't smoked a cigarette. I haven't smoked one of these since I last saw her. Let me tell you about her. Aww. When I first started as a fire light, I didn't know quite what to do. I was young and inexperienced walking across the world. I went to and fro, not quite sure where the path would take me. Hadn't yet met whispers here. And I ended up at a small town. They had a they had a library there, but it wasn't much of one. They only had a single shelf of books. You have a whole shelf of books? Yes, we we we, we uh, most most libraries actually have quite a few uh, more than that. This one was was a little on the small side. Someone in the audience holds up what's clearly a very old book. It's like, we, we have three of these, three and a half of these. Only Hadassah really bothers reading them, though. What do you mean by half? And I'm just, like, sitting there, scr scratching my head, confused. They pull out a bag and reach in, and out, I pull, they pull out what are, like, bits and pieces of all these papers. And then put the, put them all back. Uh, okay. Well, that explains that. I I am stunned at that, and like like lose track of where I was in the story. I suddenly shake my head and say, "Well." Uh, uh, yes, um, well, it, it, it was, it was in this small town that I met Alice, um, she was a, uh, 
a young woman about my age, and she had a a great passion for writing. She wanted to write a great book. We would sit on the field holds outside looking up at the stars together and she would spin the most beautiful tales of Aww. what must be happening somewhere else or the other people that starlight was touching I used to smoke at that time she called it a filthy habit and She's not wrong. Well, unfortunately, the life of firelight means that I can't stay in one place for very long. And so after a few seasons, I felt it necessary to keep going. I promised myself I would come back and see her, but my travels haven't taken me there to her. But in the meantime, I reach in and take out um, uh, a rough uh, notebook, like like roughly bound, like, you know, written on like, you know, bits of paper, like tied together uh, with string. And I pass it over. Hadassah just, was... like, just kind of starts flipping through it, like, greedily. Yeah. This was uh, what Alice had written down before I left. It's a bit, not a full narrative, just a bunch of fragments and a bit of poetry, but I think she would be happy for you to have it. Really? You're just going to give me a book? Yeah. Yeah, I I think this is what she would want. Yeah, I've been trying to write one of my own. It's it, it's difficult here. We don't have, we don't really have the paper. She holds up. Um, she's been trying to write it on like some like big leaves that she's dried out. It's gonna be very awkward and hard, kind of hard to keep them together. Hmm. I, I I I I gently take it and like open it up and try to uh, and, and try to look at it. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Careful. Careful. Okay careful yeah what you see is clearly amateur work but it is someone who's very clearly passionate about it at the same time uh because it's kind of the one per the person who never got a chance to have a good education on how to like write properly but uh their attempts at poetry here um you seem to keep mentioning that it's someone with um with wax wings uh flying away the crow inventor Do you, do, is this a is this a true story or is this a story that uh, you uh, that, that uh, is just told? It's an old story, one that few seem to tell anymore. But I like the old stories. Mm. You can see Oppo just kind of roll his eyes at that. <laughs> Oh, we tell the old stories so that they come back to us, and hear and, and hear how they and hear how they've changed. Mm -hmm. You get it. No one else here seems to get it. So, I'm looking at uh, at her notes about. Uh, the one with the wax wings, and I'm like, so... So tell me about this. Tell me about this one with the wax wings. Does... Oh, actually, you know, dinner's about done. Like, Father, is it time yet? Says, uh, I suppose if you want. And, um... She and a few other jaguars head off. She's like, no, I, I, I prepared something with it for this. And um, so here's the thing. With the natures I chose um, with Carnival, I chose strange actors and a mysterious performance. 
Uh, either one of you can tell me what this performance you see is, or I can tell you. If one of you tells me, I'll give you a token. <laughs> what were the what were the what were the natures again? So it's from the, yeah, it's from the carnival nature. So the two aspects of this that I wanted to see here are strange actors and a mysterious performance. Okay. So she's going to put on some kind of mysterious performance with strange actors, but... All right. And I'm sorry, what was her name again? I'll write down the names. I... All right, so the Discord, she is Hadassah. Okay. So, Hadassah runs off and then suddenly I see like some of the other uh, jaguars who are like you know, clearly this is a bit of a performance that, like, you know, is um, that, like, she has been working very hard uh, to, uh, to engage in, and huge leaves come uh, are put over us so that she can so that she can control the lighting a little bit more. Suddenly, all those sticks with the embers suddenly, like, are a lot brighter, um, but still just points of light in, a, in, in, in the darkness. And then through a, a dried out yellow leaf, suddenly like a bit of shadow puppetry appears <laughs> um, as the light shines through it from outside the... I can uh, uh, suddenly, like, you know, she's behind manipulating, um, you know, uh, some sticks and some puppets uh, that she's set up. And at which point, then Apo steps f uh, forward, but now he's uh, wearing, um, wearing a mask that's honestly, like, I... If it's, I don't know what it's trying to convey. It seems to be a friendly enough face, but it's, it has markings on it that I have no idea what they mean. But I take them in and, and he says, with a bit of like the kind of like, all right, the doing this for, for 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 family, kind of reluctance. Come and attend the tale, and then first, I see what looks like. bit of like uh, uh, of, uh, of a figure uh, seems to be a bird sitting down and there's a bit of I can hear Hadassah on the other side going to indicate rain and then Apo uh, again like looks at his looks at um, something that's written down and says the rains fell heavily that day and then a
green grasshopper. And it's definitely green, even through the yellow leaf. Like, it, 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 it like, Hadassah went out of her way to, like, make sure that, like, this thing shows up as green. <laughs> Comes in and says, Tell me, why do you sit here in the rain like this? And again, I can hear, like, Hadassah doing the voice on the other side. And then... The bird puppet sort of looks up and says, The rains fall, and so we cannot fly. My wings will not carry me through this storm. And then... The yellow leaf is tipped down, and Hadassah, who is now, um, has, um, some, uh, leaves attached to, uh, her arms to look more like feathers, and is all, and is wearing, uh, a mask with a bird, steps forward and she starts doing a dance that seems to be trying to convey something like this is one of those ones where I'm like if I knew the story I have a feeling there'd be something here that would like make me go oh yeah 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 no this is the part where he and I'm just but not knowing the story I'm just like this is a very lovely dance I I don't mm -hmm. completely understand it. And then... She reaches out uh, to Penny and says... Will the, wi will the wings ca uh, carry you? And, like, reaches her hand out of, like, Come on, take my hand. This is part of the thing. Yeah! And, 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 and then, I, then I just reach out my paw and hold hers, and I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And and, 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 and honestly, Penny is just so excited to be to be part of this right now. <laughs> and Hadassah is, is just thrilled that like you're her, that you're doing this, and um. She like kind of like shows you like some steps of like the day a, a, a part of the dance, and it's like a you know once to the left, then raise both hands and move it over um, left to right, then st then take a step to the right, and then raise your hands and then gently move them all the way over your head uh, in the other direction, and then. Uh, and then cross your arms in front of yourself and and lower yourself into a bow before uh, extending uh, your arms out to either side, and then you do it over again. And I'm, tr I'm trying to I'm trying to keep up with all of this, but it's kind of complicated. <laughs> and at which point the and um. During all this, then Apo um, says, But soon the sunny day came. And Hadassah runs back, puts the, uh, the, uh, the yellowed leaf back up, and has this time a spider descend down uh, to the bird who's still sitting there and says tell me why do you sit on this day and the bird says 
I sit, I, I sit because the heat. I, I, I do not, I cannot stand to fly in, 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 in such blazing sunlight. And then Leaf comes back down again. Hadassa comes back out, grabs Penny, and is like, you know, okay, re remember how to do the steps now. Okay, left, right. <laughs> okay, and then center, and then down. Okay, left, right, center, down. I, I'm tr I'm trying my best. Uh, I'm I'm making a little bit of a mess of it, but I'm just following her cues as best I can. I'm just like excited to be part of this. And then she like runs back and then puts the uh. The, the 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 thing back up again and Oppo is suddenly so looks up and is like oh oh uh, um and then came the cold day and then this time um the bird just sits there in silence and then the people just start clapping and you have and that's the end of the story and apparently this meant something I like the someone part where I got to dance with the pretty girl. <laughs> yeah. And someone just comes up to you, Penny, says congratulations, and puts a crown of feathers on your head, and then just walks off. Yay! I I mean, she like takes it off for a second, then looks at it confused, and then just puts it on and goes, yay! What did you think? Hadassah asks. I enjoyed it. I had a little trouble following parts of it, but... I definitely enjoyed it. It's good to hear. Yeah, it must be, must be a new story for you. That would be, that would be different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the part where I got to dance! Yeah, to be able to dance freely just in the air with your own wings. She kind of like looks wistfully and her father just kind of glares at her. Oh. And the fish says, but all you ever would want is here anyway. And just kind of swims away again. And she glares at the fish. I feel so bad for her now. Is is the fish is the fish one of your gods? Yes, that is None. Hmm. She's very protective. I can see. So Oppo puts his hand on your shoulders like anyway that, that was good stuff and he, now it's uh, I try to someone make up a game that someone would play up here or I can make one up um, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank tonight you know, um, you know, you know, how about a uh, vine swinging race? There's like a bunch of like tar vines that people are swinging Tarzan style set up here. It's like, you know what? Let's help you get, get to get so you can get to know your new neighbors. <laughs> that sounds a, like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah, it is. Come on. go over to um uh to the vines and i see you know 
uh, Hadassah and a, uh, a bunch of other uh, people, uh, you know, hopping uh, on them. And I look down at, and I look over at Penny. Mm hmm. And a sly grin comes over my face. And I look back at Hadassah and say, I bet you that you can, that Penny could beat you to the end of the to the end of the vine course and back. Have you even done this before? <laughs> I'm sure I haven't! Well, that's a lot of confidence you have. That's a lot. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm very uh, willing to, like, completely, uh, <laughs> and I just push Penny forward, and I'm like, go! Ah! And, she, and she's she, she's sort of like flailing around, but she's doing it. And so is Hadassah. And Hadassah has clearly done this before, <laughs> and, and knows what she's doing. And it's very easily making your way way to the other side of this place. <laughs> no, no, no. With like, 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 reach out. You have to grab, okay, grab the okay, next okay. one. Okay. Yep. Yep. No. It... No, no, no. Like, dip. I think I figured this out. Swing, 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 swing. <laughs> yeah, say so you do make it there and you make it back, uh, and about twice as long as <laughs> as your your opponent. <laughs> You did great! Thank you. She looks kind of smug. <laughs> Napo says, well, you two are getting along. Maybe, you should, maybe we should get, get you a hut next to ours. Well, I don't know if we're going to stay here. Again, like, as I said earlier, my place is on the road. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and, and that sounds lovely, but I have the, but, uh, but I, but I'm looking for some friends who I, who I think got lost, and I, I, and I haven't seen them around here. So Apo, like, Apo just pats you both in the back, like, don't worry about it. We have everything covered here. It's nothing to worry about here. I. What do you. What do you mean by that? I mean, Noah's left here in. Uh, he looks at Hadassah. She says, four generations. I walk back over to the. Sp look around, like, trying to, like, orient myself. I'm like, okay, where did we come back in again? It's really hard to tell. You think everything outside the village might have shifted again. Mm. Mm. And you see, you, you see in the distance that Nona just staring at you. Just kind of circling your area. Probably has been for a little while, you, you realize, but she's kind of like orbiting your general direction and keeping her eyes on the both of you. Hmm. Hey, um... I kind of pause and like try to remember if there's anything that I know about like how to address gods because that's mostly like on my travels I've kind of tried to avoid uh, running into them just because you know they have a you're, you you start running into gods stuff is gonna happen. <laughs> My job is to keep people safe. All right, yeah, you probably just have a general idea how to address a god, and I'll leave it up to you how how that is. Yeah. No, I walk over. I um, you know, bow my head reverently. I um, uh, put one paw on the ground, uh, 
in front of me and then say oh no nay I seek your wisdom she gets closer in a few more orbits and finally just kind of for one stops right in front of you and says yes my child what is it Your children here are well protected, but... It does seem that they could... Use a bit of travel. The last time I let the tribe explore freely, they make greedy folk. It's safer to keep them apart. Besides, you see how, what a good time they're having? And oh, most yes. of them, you seem to be having a great time, if you look over. So. Yeah. Most. Most of them definitely are. It's a lovely paradise you've made for them. Yes, they have everything or... they want, all the food they want. They can play all day. I mean, that this carnival is a celebration that's been three days since they had a carnival. <laughs> I think they could use a, use a few new stories, though. Yes, yeah, so that's why I let you in. Hadassah had just been so sad about it. I thought this. I thought it'd be nice. I can give. I can give a couple outsiders a, a nice life here, and she can get her new stories, and everyone can be happy. Um. I only brought the. I only brought the one, and I kind of like look back at like Hadassah looking at. Uh, at Alice's book. Even though you can tell, you only have written stories out there in your towns? I start fingering, um, uh, t take the cigarette back out and start, like, fingering it in my hand. And I put it back in my coat and then say, <sighs> part of the way that stories spread is, like I said, the stories have to go out and, and change. And I will know if you want to spend any tokens to do anything, um, those things apply to gods, too. Okay. I mean... I want to find out um, what uh, what Nonahe would need in order to understand in, in order to change enough to like if maybe not connect uh, the village back to the entire like rest of the world to easily be found at the very least to give people chances to come and go occasionally I would say is if you convince her that at least someone here isn't truly happy here mm. so, I look at 
Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I was, oh. I was just gonna say that, like, that, that, like, that, like, Pe that, like, Pe Penny probably thinks this conversation's been a bit out of her, been a bit out of her depth. So, sh so she, uh, so, so she's just been sitting there by Hadassah and just like hugging her and trying to, and just like trying to keep her company, knowing that, like. Knowing that, like that, like they won't, they won't be that, like they enjoy each other's company, but they won't be able to stay there together. And then it's, and 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 then like, and then like I I guess she gets like an inclination of that, and she just like, and then Penny just sort just sort of like drags her over. All right, she's dragged over. It looks a little confused. You like stories, right? Uh, who are you asking that? Hadassah? Yep. Or, yeah, she, yeah, of course I do. I love stories. I live for stories. All right, well... But, but you don't have a whole lot of them here, do you? You only have, like, four? Well, we have some books. I knew a few more. That weren't in the books. I've had to ask some of the old, some of the grandparents here, because a lot of, a lot of the younger folk don't like the old stories as much. I'm trying to memorize as many as I can and write what I can. Like, like, like the bird one earlier. That was one that no one had performed in years. Mm. Yep. But it, it is largely the same stories mm -hmm. all the time. There is a limit. I, I think I've run out of ones I can learn here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I I Yeah, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be wonderful if you wouldn't, wouldn't it be wonderful if you could like if you could like c come away and and visit other places and and learn their stories cuz cuz I'm sure cuz I'm sure they have at least as many stories as you have here. Just I I I just wish that were possible. She looks at Nona. She looks at you. She looks at Nona and starts to sweat. <laughs> um. Um. I look at Nona and I reach into my pack and take out an ornate lantern. And I look at it and, like, tears start to well up in my eyes and I say I can tell I can tell Hadassah stories about pain and heartbreak and I put the lantern back away clearly like indicating something that I don't want to go into but Nobody looks at you Looks at Hadassah. But will such stories make her happy? Nona looks kind of angry for a moment. She kind of swims away, swims around like up in the air really fast. And then comes down. What do you suggest? I suggest... Once a year, on the festival of this bird, we meet here. We, we meet again. You can find us out there. Let us at least come, uh, uh, come in here for a little bit. Brings bring new things every once in a while. I could... Br knowing that they need books, I can bring... I, I can bring books and stories and... the kind of things that spark the mind and the imagination. 
enough to light the way that you can that you can find that you can find some that you can find a way to make something new. Nona considers perhaps that is what's needed. She looks at Hadassah, who suddenly blurts out, I want to go with them. You can't keep anybody here against their will. That's not good for anyone. Nona just looks sad and furious. So tears are, there's a tear that goes down her out of Rye for a second where she runs off she swims off in the air and you hear the, hear her say say your lantern's in front of you and you don't see anything but Hadassah knows to turn to talk from the exact opposite direction and says I see a light over there and indeed you see your lantern in the distance the one you put in the ground Watch your step, I, I say, as we walk past the beetle that's still, uh, that, 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 that's still there being grumpy. Yep, be, be careful of that one! As she's, as, um, Hadassah's about to step out, Oppo beats her. It's like, so you're actually doing it. She says, yes, I, I need this, father. And he sadly says, yeah, I know. Uh, maybe take one of these for, for protection. And she, and he, he lets one of the little dinosaur things come out and follow you all. It's the one you were petting earlier, Penny, and it immediately goes to you. Aww. And also smiles at that. She seems totally cool with that. And gives her father one last hug and says, I'll, I'll return. I'll return with them. I promise. And he says, I know. Then they separate and she comes out with you. And Hadassus looks around. She's never seen anything quite like this. She spent her whole life in uh, the rainforest. Mm -hmm. And after a moment, she asks, you all, well, now where do we go? Hey, so, hey, so we're, we're still looking, f we're still looking for our friends. So, um, we're, we're just, we're just going to try to see where they went. And the I'll king. say, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I, I I look I look in one direction on the road and say we came from there, so I think they're most likely there, and I point in the other direction. All right, this way. And I kind of feel like this is probably a good send off point. You go off looking for your friends mm -hmm. with your new companion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, th yeah. Th this this seems like a good 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 way to end it for one shot. Like, like we like definitely. Yeah, definitely. We need to do this once again once our uh, other guests' internet are, is working. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I rather I was... enjoyed this. <laughs> it was lucky that um I bought a a thing of like a, some basically encounters a kind of a premise for a session. Mm -hmm. Uh, called Small Remembered Gods. And luckily the one they already decided to use was the one about a god that transports you somewhere new out of nowhere <laughs> and tries to keep you there. It's like, we'll have to go to it for people disappearing for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. <laughs> <sighs> that went better, better than I thought it did. That it would, rather. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this was fun. Yeah. Yeah, I think the book does have enough like setting and tone wise that you kind of know once you kind of do it, you kind of like can feel out what kind of fits with that. Yeah. Mm. yeah you, you, like it, it... <sighs> definitely a lot, definitely a lot of improv on this one. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> this mm -hmm. was this was this was really fun, and um, like, like you said, it, it, it gives you enough to sort of like give you like the vibe of everything to know like okay well you know here's kind of like the the sense you're going for yeah 
Yeah. Yeah, it's really it's really more of a book of of prompts than it is like a a rule book properly. That's not a bad thing. It worked out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, like the thing says, no dice, no masters. <laughs> yep. And if you want me to run it again, I can run it again. Um, if you'd rather just maybe just try everyone together just improvising, um, I now have a character I can play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... We'll see what we want to do. Yeah, 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 we'll talk about this, but, like, either way, we, we should 100% we should come back to this game at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's nice and low prep, so it is pretty easy to just jump right into. Mm. All right, so um, all right, so so I think that's gonna I think that's gonna be it for us tonight. Um, and uh. Yeah, it's 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 kind it's kind of a it's kind of a shame that like rabbit that like yeah. rabbit and searcher couldn't couldn't make it for yeah. that long. But but if you if you don't know rabbit, go go follow rabbit. Uh, she's great. Absolutely, go go follow her. Mm -hmm. And like if if um if, if the two of you are able are 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 seeing this now or in the future, like no, we absolutely I. I, I know words. I promise. Um, <laughs> you do. Yeah. This this game we worked out. Wish you were here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, we absolutely want to do this again with you. You know, um, we look forward to that. <laughs> Maybe next time we can actually ask the proper questions instead of me just trying to stall for time and then realizing, oh, this is the game now. I guess we're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, I was thinking that, but <laughs> well, you know what? I, th I think doing the, the the questions will be a good way of establishing like the group dynamic next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. All right. So. Uh... So that, that so that's gonna be it for us. I'm just trying to pick someone to send us all over to. I was gonna say if either of you or anyone in chat has any suggestions, I'd be down for that. Yeah, I'm taking a look now. It's like it's like I'd raid Proxy Glitch Cap, but I just raided her like a couple days ago, so Well, how about maybe Charity Goblin Ruby is uh she her whole thing is she raised money for the Trevor project and she's playing uh Kingdom Hearts 3, if you wanna maybe raid that. Uh sure, can you can you just drop her Twitch name? Their Twitch name in like, in like the Discord or okay, yep, yep, yep. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna send you all over there and uh, I, I was gonna I was gonna say one of us is super into Kingdom Hearts. Hey, <laughs> when you walk away, you don't hear me say please, oh baby. <laughs> Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. <laughs> I love you, you dork. I love you too, you dork. Yeah, I love you thinking like one of us is into this at least. <laughs> alright, that's alright, that's gonna be it for us. Uh see you later, y'all. Good night. Good night everyone. <laughs>